Hello, and welcome to the first Sunday of Advent. I'm Mrs. Cole, and I'm so happy to be with you again. Today, we begin the wonderful season of Advent, which is when we start getting our hearts ready for the coming of Jesus at Christmas. There are four Sundays in Advent, and we'll light a candle on the Advent wreath each week. Lighting the uh, wreath reminds us that Jesus is the light of the world. Now, the color for Advent is violet or purple, and we have three violet candles. We'll learn about the pink one later. The priest this week will wear violet, and we'll probably also light an Advent wreath. So let's begin with the prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, help us always be alert and ready for you to come again. May you bless us with your peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So in this picture, we see a soldier or a guard standing watch outside a door. Who we'll learned today that we should always be just as alert as a guard, waiting in joyful hope as we prepare for the coming of Jesus Christ? As it says, Jesus says, be ready. So let's learn more about what it is we're getting ready for by seeing what's in the Bible bag today. Well, first we have a picture about Advent, which is when we get ready for Christmas. Of course, Christmas is one of the most exciting times of the year, and we spend a lot of time getting ready for it. We buy presents, we put up a Christmas tree and wreaths, we decorate our homes, we make Christmas cookies, we listen to Christmas music, what if Christmas came though and we hadn't gotten ready at all? It would be terrible and no fun. That's what Advent is. It's a special time to get ready to prepare our hearts for the coming of Jesus. So here we have a soldier, someone who watches and is on guard for trouble. In today's gospel, Jesus tells us that we need to be alert and ready ready for when he will come again at the end of time as the Prince of Peace. Now we don't know when that will be, and we want our hearts to be ready by being kind and forgiving and sharing and helping to take care of the poor and those who need our help. And here we have Jesus. So let's hear Jesus' message about getting ready. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, watch out and be ready. You don't know when the time will come. It's like what happens when a man goes away for a while and places his servants in charge of everything. He tells them what to do and he orders the watchmen to be on their guard. So be on your guard. You don't know when the master of the house will come back. It could be in the evening or at midnight, or before dawn, or in the morning. But if he comes suddenly, don't let him find you asleep. I tell everyone just what I have told you. Be on your guard. This is the good news of the Lord. So that's our Bible story for today, where we are reminded that Advent is about more than preparing for Jesus' birth on Christmas. It's also about preparing for Jesus' return in glory at the end of time. So how can you get ready for Jesus? Not only on the outside by putting up Christmas decorations and making Christmas lists, but on the inside by being loving and helpful and kind. Can you think of one thing that you could do this week to be especially helpful to your family and especially nice and forgiving? If your family lights an Advent wreath at supper time, maybe that would be a good time to think of one special thing you could do, either that evening or the next day, to be as helpful and kind as possible, all in order to get ready for Jesus' coming. So let's finish with our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, help us always be alert and ready for you to come again. May you bless us with your peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, until next week, be loving and be kind as you celebrate Advent and the coming of Christmas. And remember, Jesus loves you.